Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. We're going out, uh, do some uh, court reporting from New York City, the five families, Colombo mob underboss, Benji the Claw Castellazzo, 86 years old, number two man in the Colombo organization, got a break from the judge this week in the big Colombo labor racketeering case that came down about three years ago. Um, he's one of the last people, if not the last person, uh, to be sentenced. Uh, prosecutors were, he copped the plea. Uh, they caught the, everybody in that case copped a, a global plea uh, back in the summer, which means everybody cops to the same uh, charges in case. Uh, prosecutors wanted the claw to do two to three years. Uh, judge ends up giving him one year, uh, like 14 months. If he, if he does good time, he'll be home in 11. Uh, reasons coming from his attorney is his failing health. You know, it seems to be par for the course. Anybody uh, over 70 goes to court, they're going to be talking about their failing health, whether or not their health is failing or not. So uh, Benji Castellazzo now is going to go away for about a year. Um, he's the underboss. He's been underboss off and on since the 2000s, according to his detention memo. Uh, got the promotion in 2008. Held it to 2011, had to go do, a, I think, a three or four year jail sentence and came out around 15 and has uh, held the underboss post in the Colombo organization since then. Uh, a guy that uh, for a lot of times in the uh, in his underboss duties was holding court at a, a Brooklyn parking garage. Later on, uh, in more recent times, uh, in you know, spent a lot of time in New Jersey, moved his residence to New Jersey. And was like in between a house, a retirement home, and a trailer. Um, I'm told that the trailer is um, him kind of feigning financial destitution, you know, being destitute, that, that he has no uh, real uh, uh, financial stability. Um, in reality, I think he does. I'm told that he does. Uh, but, you know, for the government that's chasing money, whether it be restitution based on, you know, he's got a long uh, rap sheet um, in his later years, he's been spending some time with his with his wife or his his uh, his widow. I'm not sure if, if she's still alive uh, in, in a in a trailer park uh, was also in a retirement home. So, you know, it was interesting to, to see this Colombo case that came down in the fall of 21. Uh, a lot of the big fish were geriatrics, Benji Castellazzo, the boss, Andy Mushruso, who died before trial, uh, conciliary, uh, big Ralphie DeMatteo, uh, who got sentenced, I think, to three years um, back a month or two ago. He's pushing 70. Uh, and then the the really the, you know, the big fish in terms of the future is Teddy Persico, who got a five-year sentence. He's the heir apparent uh, in the Colombo crime family now. But Benji Castellazzo, another thing that came out of this court hearing was uh, there's always been some debate about his nickname. Uh, when he was coming out of court, a reporter from the New York Post asked him where his nickname came from. He said, oh, I used to be a carpenter and then kind of chuckled. Uh, I've seen a, I've seen some, some FBI uh, records and documentations and his detention memo. And I think on the street, it's, it's believed that his nickname, The Claw, came from very early on in his his days as a mob guy, he could claw his way into scores that weren't necessarily his. Um, and then another uh, thing that came out of that detention memo that I find uh, newsworthy and want to share is that according to the federal government, uh, even though he was underboss, he has conducted making ceremonies on his own. I believe the first one he conducted was in 2009, and they allege there's been some other ceremonies um, since then, including ceremonies since he got out uh, uh, in the mid 2010s and in, in, in more recently. So he, he's got quite a bit of stature. He's a guy that I know, uh, was very trusted by the Persicos and, and, uh, was dispatched, you know, to, to numerous other crime factions around the country to, uh, politic. And, you know, he's been under boss now for 15 years, uh, gotta go do a year in prison, but, uh, he'll be back before you know it. Uh, Scott Bernstein, OG pod, 